Well, hello, friends. Uh, hopefully the music is back. All right, looks looks like we're good. And I'm just gonna double check my audio. Looks like we are cooking with gas. Hello and welcome. Uh, I am your friend, hopefully. <laughs> your uh, storyteller, your dungeon master, your host of Level 1 Adventuring. I'm gonna turn uh, performance mode on over here just for a second. Uh, and what is Level 1 Adventuring, you may ask? Well, we are a... Uh, role-playing game content platform. Uh, we run solo RPGs, indie RPGs, big name RPGs, group RPGs, everything from D&D and everything in between. Hey, Ecstasy! Uh, happy, happy to see you. I'm gonna turn down my headphones because the music is rip-roaring in there. It is intense between my ear holes. Uh, I don't think it means to be that intense, but it is intense. Okay, perfect. Um, and yes, yeah, so we run a whole bunch of different types of games, big name ones like you're familiar with, familiar with I can't talk like D&D, or smaller projects as well, indie RPGs as well. Uh, tonight, sort of the first stream of the of the week, uh, we're gonna do something that's a little easy peasy to, to dip our toe into the water, because it's always a rough first day back for me personally, especially when work has been really nuts, I feel like as well, I feel like, um, uh, we had like an extra long weekend, uh, my team and I, uh, so coming back from that long weekend, I feel like all of our issues just kind of secretly piled up while no one was looking, and I was on, I was overworking, I was, I was past like an hour past when I should have clocked out, so <laughs> my brain is a little, but uh, doesn't mean we still can't have fun, doesn't mean we still can't adventure, huh? Uh, so we're gonna do that on a little bit of Celesta, Crown of the Magister, which is one of our community's uh, little favorite games right now. Uh, if you are not familiar with Celesta, it is a, I guess it's an indie project to a degree, right? Uh, it's not a big name studio, uh, but they created their own fantasy role-playing game, uh, their own storyline, but they used the free and open source a uh, fifth edition D&D rule set to design their game. So if you're familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, particularly the fifth edition, a lot of the mechanics and the spells and everything are gonna be very familiar to you, but the world and the characters shall all be uh, a little different, uh, which is also fun. And they also did uh, homebrew some of their own classes and, or I should say subclasses and magical spells and abilities in there. So there will be some new things for you to see even if you are familiar, so it's a lot of fun. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna load our game here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I cannot remember <laughs> where we were last. Feels like ages since we've been in Celesta. But I'm going to remind myself as I go into Solar. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Here we are. Uh, ecstasy, a pleasure to see you as always. Oh, where's our music? Oh, it's just very quiet. <laughs> I was like, where we go? Okay. Uh, I First thing I'm going to do is check my quest journal because I am 100% uh, unsure of what our current objective is. Uh, oh, well, there we go. That's just vague enough, isn't, isn't it? Explore the surroundings. Okay. Um, all right, so no. Okay, so I'm remembering some things here. So we, we are looking to find the next piece of the crown, the gem for the crown. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm sorry, Ecstasy. I totally feel you, though. I'm right there with you. Uh, glad to be on the stream. Glad to have you on the stream. Um, I, I forgot to, um, set all of the automatic updates. I have, like, a, a set of, of recurring tweets that is supposed to announce when we're, we're going live, and I forgot to set it this weekend, so hopefully we have our usuals filter in here as the night goes on. I like to try and shoot that ahead of time to people, but it didn't happen this time around. Um... So yeah, we're supposed to explore the surroundings. We're looking for this gem piece. That makes sense. Uh, we're just kind of following the uh, the whims of this uh, magical elf lady who's found us, who who no one pronounces her name the same way. Kitayela, I believe, has been the most uh, <laughs> the most uh, common pronunciation. Um, but we also, that's something we did learn last stream, is that Kitayela uh, found her spell book. Because for a while I was like, man, you're following us and we're trying to protect you. And 
Honestly, you are, uh, you're not, uh, the, the most likable character in terms of her opinions when it comes to, like, other people. Um, but she wasn't even useful in combat. I was like, what are you gonna, what are you giving me here? What is, where is the give and take here? Uh, but it turns out that's because she was a wizard who was separated from her spell book, and now she has her spell book, which means she has a lot more firepower under her belt. So, hopefully that means she can, uh, help us do some more useful things, uh, as it pertains to combat. Speaking of combat, I feel as though we have not recast aid for the day. I feel like everyone's HP is a little lower than usual. So I'm gonna go into cast spells real quick. Yeah, I don't think we've cast aid yet today. Uh, so I'm gonna start with that. Oh, I prepared a new spell. Didn't I spirit guardians? I did. Okay, so we got some stuff going on here. Let me, let me let me start off with a little aid. Get everyone in the right mindset here. We're gonna go Korug, Fasima, Gwynhalef, the usual suspects when it comes to this spell. And we'll unpause. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and now let's grab the rest of the gang. There we go. And uh, venture forth. We're just exploring, so. Well, now I automatically want to see, can I even go up here? <laughs> I'm like already like trying to veer off the, the beaten path. No, this is, this is my cursor is clear, clearly telling me out of bounds. So uh, down we go, I suppose. Oh, got to cut our way through some underbrush. Nice. Code to the rescue. Okay. There's something wrong with this place. Is there, Fasima? What makes you say that? I don't like that you said that. <laughs> is there, uh... Oh, wait, is that how you go up and down? No, I don't think. I'm still trying to figure out how we properly use fly on a Draxus. Because last time we just, like, hovered a few feet off of the air. I looked it up online. I think it does have to do the shift key, but we won't worry about that until we need to get into a fight that requires... <laughs> Flying or another, uh, whoa, trap spotted. No, track spotted. So, oh, wait, there's a stone we missed back here. What's this? What's this? What's Friends this? Are always welcome at the shield. Friends are always welcome at the shield. It's gonna keep Friends clicking on it. <laughs> welcome, welcome at the shield. shield. Friends are always welcome at the shield. All right, let's get a little bit of a, is that like a little bit of a riddle? Uh, but we did just see some tracks. I think that means we have to go into sneak mode to see them more clearly. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's follow these. Ooh, okay. Well, we don't like how this area feels, but that isn't stopping us from just directly marching into the same direction as these mysterious tracks. So, and this all looks like... <laughs> This all looks like a combat arena if, if I'm if I'm to be asked. Little divots in the ground and towers to use as cover. Uh, but we'll see if my my dungeon master senses are tingling. Um, maybe not. Okay, that's yeah, we can definitely push those down if need be for cover. Oh! Oh! That wolf just Yeah, <laughs> Ecstasy says very ominous as a wolf literally just runs up on us out of nowhere. Okay, so yeah, I was right. <laughs> um, okay, so dire wolf and winter wolf. Okay, so dire wolves. I think we've tangled with dire wolves before. Obviously, they're they're not a uh, a threat to be ignored per se, uh, but they are not the most dire threat. A winter wolf, however, that's a little that's a little next level. Winter wolves are like dire wolves, uh, but they can also speak giant if they're using the same um, fifth edition, you know, D and D rule set. And they also have a breath weapon. The breath weapon they actually breathe ice, uh, which is pretty nasty. Uh, the timing could not have been better. <laughs> You're right, Ecstasy. You like called that with like, what, what, as if you were a dungeon master yourself, timing that that notion. All right, so I think that we're just gonna go. Oh wait, there's an enemy over here. I just noticed that. Uh, look at look at Korug's um, line of sight meter. Yeah, there's a sneaky boy over here. Oh, trying to be a little, trying to be a little tricksy, are ya? That's all right. Uh, we'll get him. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rage, because that is what Korug would like to do. 
And then we are going to reckless attack, and we are just going to swing right in. No time to waste. Okay, good chunk of damage, good chunk of damage. Swing again. Nice, okay. Uh, now, let's end our turn. It's going to be a Draxus next. Now, a Draxus... Oh, yeah, we can actually get on top of this object over here. And that's not even wasting any of our, um, our spell slots or anything. I feel like that's probably the thing to do, right? We want to get up on... The wolves have a hard time getting to us, I imagine. Being quadrupedal. Oh, but he will suffer a possible opportunity attack on the way up. Is it worth it? Uh, I'll risk it. I don't want to waste too many spells just getting on top of a rock. Oh, I can prevent it. Uh, it's a level one spell. Yeah, I'll do it. Get out of here with that. Because also, if the wolf would hit me, there's a possibility he could trip me, and then I wouldn't be able to get on top of the rock, which would be bad. So I will spend shield to avoid that. Uh, avoid that uh, little danger. <laughs> that <pre laughs> ever-present danger. Uh, let's firebolt. Let's... Who's next up in the queue? This winter wolf, huh? And you're after that. Huh. Who do we let's put some let's put some let's put some money in on the on the winter wolf. I don't think the winter wolves have vulnerability to fire, which like would have been very ideal in this current scenario, but I don't think that's true. At the very least though, if I split some damage, I might be able to KO that dire wolf. Um, because Adraxus's fire spells now are getting pretty pretty beefy. Yeah, what I tell ya! Get that wolf out of the equation. All right, perfect. Um, what's a second spell? Oh no, we don't need to cast Misty Step, I don't think. Um, interesting, I never really realized, because normally if you cast Misty Step, you can only cast a cantrip after your turn. And I technically did use a first level spell because I use shield to deflect, but because that is my reaction, uh, I guess that does not count as casting a spell within my turn. So I could still technically um, cast uh, another first level spell and Misty Step. Actually, second level step. Second level step, second level spell. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to. I p could possibly get on a higher precipice, but uh, is it worth it? These guys are going to go next, right? You and you. If I cast this, could I get on top of that thing? No, I couldn't even get there if I wanted to anyway. So I guess that's kind of worthless. Would have been a cool idea though. Zoom in up there. So I'm gonna cancel. Save that spell slot. Use it for something more uh, impactful later on. I'll end turn. Uh, so now we gotta worry about these wolves. Yeah, see that's, oh. Okay, I thought I was going for Draxus for a second. Go yeah, see, fight, my friend. this is what we want. Let them all go towards Korug. Oh, except for you, you're gonna go for Draxus, huh? Ooh, with a critical hit? Ooh, that was that was pretty mean. Um. Also, I'm about to say I think the game kind of got confused for a second. Um, that Adraxus fell down. Okay, so Gwyn, 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 what are you doing, Gwyn? Gwyn, let's get you. Let's get you on a perch as well. Um, hopefully that'll give you some line of sight on some of these enemies. Oh, and we have our, our, our new uh, our new spell lady now as well, so she should be able to help. Although we have to make sure that she stays alive, because she is integral to the plot, as the tooltip continues to tell me. Oh, wait, do I not have line of sight on them from here? I don't have line of sight on anybody from here? Oh, that's a bummer. I thought for sure I would. Um, hmm. I don't really know what to do in this position now. I don't really have a spell that I think would be beneficial. Dang. Um, what if I attacked? Oh, but maybe, yeah, maybe I could do something useful. Maybe I could make some extra cover. If, if I shoot this, it's gonna fall this way, which I don't think will hit our spellcasting friend. 
and give like another little, let's try it. Never mind, it fell the complete opposite way <laughs> of what, oh wait, but does that mean I now have line of sight? Did I just big brain this on accident? Yo, I just big brain this on accident. <laughs> that was, I'll, I will 100% admit that was not intentional, but that was pretty fun. That was pretty cool. Okay, let's put, um, let's put Hunter's Mark on this one now. So we don't get all three shots, which is a bummer, but, or sorry, all two shots is a bummer. But I mean, I'll still take, I'll still take one in Hunter's Mark. That's still good. That's funny though. Wow, I had not anticipated that. Oh, come on, come on win. You can do better. Yeah, thank you, Fasima. Uh, uh, please, tell her. All right, we'll end our turn. All right, so speaking of Fasima, Fasima needs to help um, Adraxus right now. So let's move Fasima. Hmm, let's move Fasima here. Oh, wow, that's, wow, from down there? That's an opportunity attack? I did not pay attention to that. Okay. Um, oh, and she fell prone, so she doesn't even have her full movement. Um, okay, main actions. Can I Can I please move still? Oh, I have to like force her to move, okay. So that's what would have happened to Adraxis. Um, okay, so we, st we can still move up here, okay? It's not our full movement. So let's, let's put her in between these two wolves. Hopefully the Winter Wolf can't jump over this barricade. I'm gonna cast a spell. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Cure Wounds. Yeah, we're gonna pump this up pretty pretty big. Adraxus doesn't have a lot of health, so he shouldn't be too hard to heal. So let's give that to old Draxy boy. Nice, that's almost full health. Good job, Fasima. Uh, and then we'll just end turn here. Actually, no, we'll switch to our spear in case someone tries to opportunity attack, run by, end turn. Oh, now it's our new spell lady. Okay, so this ought to be interesting because I've not really tried to use her spells in combat yet. Let's put her, let's get her a safe distance away, you know, number one. That's usually what the wizard wants to do is not be uh, anywhere near the enemies. And this should still put her within line of sight of most bad things. Yeah, at least two bad things, which is a majority of the bad things. Uh, all right, let's climb, climb, climb. And now let's take a look at these spells. Well, first of all, she has a bonus action spell. Um, oh, wow, Sparkle is a bonus action spell. Interesting. Uh, Misty Step, which we don't need to worry about just yet. But let's use our regular spells. Um, all right, so some of these I'm immediately familiar with. Uh, Scorching Ray, Color Spray, Ooh, Fireball. No, everyone's a little bit too close for Fireball. Um, could always Magic Missile. That's always a, uh, a dedicated, a, 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 what's the word? Not dedicated, guaranteed hit. Uh, what's this one with like the question mark? Oh, Fairy Fire. Oh, fairy fire might be cool, actually. Um, yeah. How do we? Let's fairy fire. Do I? Do I have? Do I have full line of sight? Ooh. Ah, uh, but it might get Korug in there too. Although, honestly, Korug is going to be uh, giving people advantage anyway because he has a. Reckless attack on so perhaps that isn't the worst thing. I Think this would get all enemies in the zone Also, this is the first time I think I've seen a targeting rectangle in this game, which is a perfect square That uh, that's just kind of tickling my brain in a, in a fun way. It looks like a gelatinous cube just like <laughs> Hovering yeah, I think if we try and move this away from Korug, we don't get all of the the bodies so yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Korug, you're a tough guy. You'll figure it out. Now, oh, and he succeeded anyway. Hell yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah, and I forgot because he's a stone, a stone barbarian, which is one that's unique to this game. 
Um, he uses his constitution saving throw for all spells. So even though the wolves botch their deck save, it doesn't matter uh, for Koru because he would have used constitution anyway. So that worked out much better than anticipated. Much, much better. Okay, perfect. Okay, set him up, Kitayala. We'll knock him down. We're going to end turn. Speaking of setting him up and knocking him down, hi, my name's Korug. Um, so actually, we don't even have to go reckless on this one because they're already granting us advantage. So why don't we take a big chop out of uh, this boy? Oh man, but you beefed it. Um, you still glowing? Glowing, right, glowing. Yes, you still are. Okay. Um, so I don't need to use it again. So I'll, I'll make another. I'll make another swing. There we go. That's something. There's something. Uh, and then we'll just end our turn. I hope for the best. A Draxus. Yeah, Draxus needs to pull back a little bit. A Draxus can get up here without much issue. Let's do that. Hope it, baby. All right. Uh, and then same thing, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do Twin Spell again. Because they both are granting me advantage. So that'll be two advantage strikes. Nice. Well done. A much better showing than the last time around addresses. Also, uh, we'll be able to draw back a little bit. To possibly avoid uh, some retaliation. So yeah, let's drop back. There we go. And then end turn. And then we got the wolves up. Man, they're still biting through. Even despite... Oh, there it is. The ice breath. Did it right through the cover, though. But still, Fasima has a decent chunk of health left. So I'm not too worried about that. Walk it off. Okay, okay. Korug is still sitting pretty. Got a ton of health left through that rage. So let's see if we can finish off this dire wolf here. There we go. Critical hit! Nice! Well done, gang. Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch my target as a bonus action to this wolf. Because it's already injured, which means Hunter's Mark is gonna give us that bonus damage. So let's pump down in again. Ooh. Again. Okay. I thought that was another crit I saw the 20. Not quite, but the wolf is almost dead. So, so far, so really good. Um, oh, speaking of almost dead, why don't we... This thing has Hunter... Uh, still has, uh, Hunter's Mark and... Fairy Fire? Yeah, let's just move up with Fasima. Give him, a, give him a good old-fashioned stabbing. Ah. Oh, come on. Fasima. I don't want to spend a whole spell just for, like, spiritual weapon on this guy. Seems like a waste. But you had advantage. That's lame. All right, that's fine. Uh, okay, we might be able to finish you off with Spell Lady now. Oh, yeah, she has a, she has a, a, a range cantrip. She has Shadow Dagger. Which, I, this is unique to this game. I've never even seen it before. So let's take a look at it. Ooh, that's a cool spell. We rolled really crappy for the for the damage, but I like the animation. It'd be really good for like an arcane trickster rogue or something like that. Um, I don't think she's going to move. Okay, round three. So yeah, Koru's just gonna end this guy's life. Um, are you still? Yeah. Oh, for some reason, Fairy Fire. I was thinking. Um, I was thinking it disappears after the first hit, but that is um, Guiding Bolt. That's the one that Fasima does. So this one is constant, which is even better. All right, swing in, finish him off. Perfect. We get Hunter's Mark back, which is exactly what we want. Then we're gonna move up. Uh, yeah, let's move right here. I don't know if he'll be able to move forward if we block his path like that. Uh, and then swing it again. 
Nice. Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, the Winter Wolf may be able to reuse the Breath Weapon if it recharges. A lot of enemies' spell effects reach are on a recharge, so that may be, a, may be the case here. Uh, but let's move Adraxxus back up this post. Didn't nice. Think he could do it. <laughs> wow, Gwen. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Uh, let's cast the spell. I don't think we have to do anything too crazy here. I think we just keep piling on the damage. We can't even twin it because there's only one target. Solasta, Evo. Whoa, Toddy! Subscribe for two months. Uh, thank you so much. Currently on a two-month streak. My boy. My darling baby. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. It's good to have you in chat as always. We're going to jump down here. Uh, let's figure out what we're doing. We're going to end turn with a Draxus. Um, okay. Nice. All right. I think Gwyn might be able to put this one to rest because we're going to move our Hunter's Mark over here. Also, Toddy, thank you for letting the Metal God shower us with some power cords. Um, and then we will blast away. We got one. Oh, wait, I, I thought this thing was almost dead. No, well, actually, now it's getting pretty pretty near death, but I don't think this will be a kill unless I get, like, really lucky with, like, a crit or something. Um, not quite. But definitely within threat range. And who's next? Fasima. Fasima's not normally a closer like that, but we can at least use her big armor to put her in, in, in harm's way. And we can go for a stab. Why not? Ooh, actually. Ah, uh, no. It doesn't. I was going to think about maybe using Vampiric Touch. Because she has the ring that grants her Vampiric Touch. So she could steal some health. But the Winter Wolf can't have that much health left. So I don't really know if that would be worth, worth using that for. I'll just give it a regular stab. Okay, that's still a hit. I rolled a one on damage, but it's a hit. Uh, which means Kitayela should be able to put this away. Even with a with a weak shadow dagger. As long as we hit. Um, come on, shadow dags. Shadow dags. Although, interesting, it doesn't have... You've been debating buying the game ever since you've seen it last on stream? Yo, I recommend it. It's like... It's, it's not that expensive. Like, it's definitely not as expensive as, like... Baldur's Gate, which granted is gonna be I, I, I've played it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, right? Um, but like it, you know, it's a big name studio. So it's it's cheaper It has like three expansions like we're only playing the base game right now um, And they already have a, an expansion that extends the story and they just released like it, it was not it was not old the expansion came out within the past couple of months uh, or maybe even weeks sorry not months um, and so, yeah, I mean, if you like D&D, &D, if you like 5th edition, like, it, it gives you pretty much that experience of, like, a Baldur's Gate light, you know? Um, I recommend it. I, the thing that I like the most about it is that as much as I've really had fun with the Baldur's Gate demo so far, right? Um, and, uh, as much as I understand the, uh, narrative choice of, you know, you create one character and the story centers around that one specific character. Um, so you're focusing all of your builds and everything on that one that one being. Uh, this game does emphasize the party, right? Like you build the entire party from the very beginning. You choose what their ancestry is, their classes are. So you get to create your little party of four. Um, and so that's, I think that's, that's what makes it fun for me is I got to from the ground up kind of decide, okay, like this is the kind of synergies I want. You know, I want like, two front line, two back line, like one, you know, support caster, one, you know, um, damage caster. I got to like make all those decisions ahead of time. And I think it's fun too. They have a really cool, um, I don't know if you were there ecstasy for when I made the characters initially, but they have a really cool system for deciding their personality traits. So depending on like what background you give them and Oh, it's based off of their background and something else. You get like a little personality pie chart that shows whether or not they're like altruistic or egoistic or pragmatic or, you know, what have you. 
And then you kind of get to choose, like you get to lean into certain ones harder, like you get that option, which changes their dialogue responses, right? So um, all of the characters that you're seeing on screen, I designed them purposefully so that none of them have the same personality. They're all very different, uh, which hopefully has spawned some, you know, unique voice lines and interactions. Um, so yeah, I, I like it. I think if you like the idea of playing a party, you know, as opposed to like one specific character, uh, I think it's totally worth it. And I don't think it's like that much on Steam right now, to to be honest. Um, all right, we're gonna throw another Shadow Dagger and hopefully end this. It dodged? Oh, that's... <laughs> you, you mangy hound, you mongrel. All right, uh, yeah, we, uh, that's all right. Kogg's gonna, Kogg's gonna end him, that's fine. <laughs> There we go. That's what we needed to see. Okay, yeah. All right, our knowledge has increased. We've explored our surroundings, but that wasn't... Oh, the Steam sale is going on anyway. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> hey there, Celasta team. <laughs> if you need a, a Celasta influencer, <laughs> I'm your guy. <laughs> no, I'm glad you pick it up. I'm excited to hear uh, all of your adventures in the story. Um, please post about all of the characters that you make on the Discord, because we'd love to hear about them. Oh, speaking of which, I definitely didn't do any of my normal plugs at the beginning of the game. Uh, hey, join our Discord. <laughs> Follow us on all the socials where we uh, where we post all of our updates, where the Discord, uh, where we post about all the new games we're gonna play. We're gonna be playing some D&D there soon, too, with the community, which is gonna be fun. So, yeah, give it a, give it a follow. Uh, but yeah, please, I'd love to see some screenshots of your, of your party. I chose, I, I purposefully chose kind of, I don't wanna say standard choices, um, but I, I, I did kind of pick, like, typical, like an elf ranger, an orc barbarian. Granted, that's because the combo is good, but like, you know, for people who might be new to the to D D like on stream, I thought that'd be like a classic kind of combo. Uh Dragonborn Sorcerer. Dragonborn are really good for sorcerers, actually. Uh, especially because there's there's the draconic ancestry. I mostly just chose it for the aesthetic. I wanted like a like a, a cooler sort of like non to humanoid PC to run around with. Uh, and Fasima's actually a half elf. You really can't tell because uh, her ears aren't like super pronounced like some elves might be, uh, but she's a half elf. And I am just, um, I'm just a sucker for half elves like in D&D &D in general, like the, the way their stats go, the extra skills they get. Cause I'm a big extra skills guy. Every character I make, I try to find out how to get all the skill points I can. Uh, so she ended up being a uh, half elf because I just love those extra skill bonuses and things like that. And they make pretty pretty good clerics because you get three stat buffs. Um, I I wanted her to have high whiz, uh, decent con, and strength so she could poke at enemies when I needed her to. So it all worked out well. Uh, I love character creation, so it's definitely plus. Yo, I know um, this and this character char character creator is pretty robust. Like. As you can probably tell, you know, it's 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 not a huge, it's an independent team, so don't expect, like, I'm trying to think of a game that has insane character customization, like, I don't know, Dragon Age Inquisition level character creation, but you can definitely make some very unique looking PCs. They got lots of fun scars, war paint, hairstyles, and also, like, the hair and the eye color and, like, even the flesh color options are, like, wide open. Like, I think there's... I think there's a tab that shows like the general range for the ancestry, but you can like pick beyond that and have like really wild combinations. So uh, yeah, the character creation stuff is definitely pretty pretty deep. And then you get all the char the class stuff on top of it beyond um, your looks. I will say, if you're not super familiar with fifth edition, the character creation stuff can maybe look a little overwhelming at first because you may or may not be realizing how deep of a choice that you're making for some things at level one but uh, i don't know i feel like they do a pretty good job of helping you understand what you're doing um so yeah i highly recommend um i'm noticing here that Fasima's health is a little a little chopped up ever since she ate that f frost breath somebody here has like a decent potion right oh yeah adraxis adraxis why don't you uh 
why don't you repay the favor here? Heal other. Fasima healed you, so why don't you heal Fasima? I owe you one. Eh, wasn't the most amount of health, but you know, that'll get us through for now. Uh, and then let's cut through here. Maybe I should save the potion for an emergency situation. I never really know how to manage the potions. I'm always like, I could use a spell slot or I could use a potion. And I'm never sure which one is, <laughs> you know, is like better to save. Uh, oh, what? what's up here? Can we even get up here? Oh, we can. We can climb. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, this we can interact with, so let's knock it over. I'm assuming it's a knockover. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, we got a bridge. Where is this leading, though? This looks like the ruined... Oh, wait. Maybe this is... Maybe this is... Maybe the monastery is a ruin? We were supposed to be finding a monastery, but maybe the monastery doesn't stand anymore. Interesting. Okay. It looks like we can't go back into the forest. We can only go... Oh, no. Oh, wait. Is my keyboard acting funny, or is that just... I thought my keyboard ran out of batteries. I just don't think I can look any further in that direction. Um, okay. I think we have to go this way. Okay. I guess let's get down there and figure it out. Korug will light the way. We also need to remember we did see some tracks in here before. Which means there probably are still some... Some little creep, and the tracks were human. Um, although I actually, I don't know, does this game dis distinguish between human tracks and, it just said tracks. There were boot prints, um, and those were wolves. Oh, is this an alternate entrance? What's over here? Keep finding secrets. What's in here? Okay. Let's go cautious. Just in case we run into anything. Although those wolves had no problem spotting us, but, you know, just to just play a little safe. Huh. This place is like a maze. Oh, wait, can I go in here? Let's figure it out together. Is this a door or is it just open? This looks like it's just open. Oh, there's a zombie. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. Let's go over here. <laughs> um, right? That's definitely. Oh wait, what? what a Draxus? Oh, Draxus, why are you doing this? Oh, guys, why did you do that? I don't know why everyone decided that. I told them to wait outside of the. Maybe I clicked too low, and now we're all on the bottom floor while the zombie is up here. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but there seems to only be one zombie. So I should... Oh, wait, no. There's more. Tiger Drake? Oh, this might be bad. I don't really know what kind of problem I just got us into, but it might be bad. Um, also, why are zombies hanging out with Drakes? Oh, no. Oh, wait, there's a zombie down there. Okay, I see him. I see him. Okay. I don't see any Drakes, though. Okay. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Let's just do what we gotta do. We're gonna move up here. Uh, we're gonna... Re we're gonna Reckless Rage. Um, right? Reckless? There you go. Also, Brood of the Dread. I'm pretty sure that was the same... A uh, name archetype for the vampire's minions when we fought her in the necromancer's lair. So perhaps these are somewhat vampiric creatures. Hoping not. Uh, all right, tiger drake. Yeah, where are these tiger drakes that are apparently in here? They must be far away. Well, that might be good though, because that means by the time they get to us, yeah, they are far away. 
the game had to tell yeah look at this the game had to teleport us outside of the building well that's good because that means by the time they get here hopefully we'll have dealt with the zombies and we won't have to worry about um splitting our attention too too much uh let's oh do i have some kind of spell that can push him Because if I had some sort of pushing spell, I could maybe knock them down. Hmm, I don't think I do. That would have been ideal. Launch an acid arrow that deals some damage even if you miss your shot. Okay. We like that. We like the sound of that. Uh, let's do that, actually. I've not cast Melf's acid arrow yet in this game. Oh, I could cast it as three or four. Uh, let's go for broke, let's go for four. Nice. It didn't really sustain that much damage, considering I hit it with a level four spell that did seven points of damage. Unless the creature is somehow resistant to acid. Seems unlikely. Um, cast a spell. <laughs> Can I make him twinkle just for fun? No, I can't, okay. <laughs> um, uh, yikes. Did not anticipate getting into this kind of a scrape. Uh, I'll, I'll put her up here for now. Good arms you got. <laughs> we'll end turn. Uh, now we got Gwyn. Uh, luckily, Gwyn... Oh, Gwyn still has Hunter's Markup. One of Gwyn's favorite enemies is undead, so at least we have that going for us. Uh, let's... Oh, come on. Critical miss. Gwyn, baby, darling, honey. Uh, Alright, maybe... Can I hit you down there? I can. Maybe it's best to... Oh, I already put the Hunter's Mark on him, though. I should have focused down the one with less health, but... You live and you learn. Wow, two, this is zombie, Gwyn. Not exactly the most nimble of creatures. Oh boy, all right, that means we gotta teleport outside of the castle so that the tiger drakes can come closer. How do we get ourselves into this predicament, A? Eh? What, what did I do to deserve? I love how the game actually has to think. <laughs> the game's like, how, where are you? Okay, we're far out. We're far out, man. Come on in, come on in, Drake. Drake and Josh. Okay, back to Fasima. Uh, Fasima. Oh, Fasima. Oh, oh, Fasima. We need you to have line of sight on somebody here. We can either focus on you or you. God, I wish I had a push spell. We just knock him down here and then get everybody working on him. Um, let's... Oh, you know what I could do, though? Cast a spell, because I feel like we're going to be... Oh, wait. Not yet. I have to have my hand open. We're probably going to be in this fight for a little bit, considering the drakes aren't even here yet. So let's summon... Hmm. Let's summon a level three mace. Oh wait, can I control, shift? Hmm. I know there's a way that I can choose the height that I'm casting at. Right? I guess I can cast it on that rock. I wish it gave me a grid. Can't really see how far I can go. Uh, we'll put it up here for now. And then, spiritual weapon. There we go. Oh, it can only move. Hmm. Darn. It can get close, but it can't actually hit. Oh, the caster needs to perceive the target. Really? Let me cancel this. What if I move Fasima? 
I, that's, that's a restriction about this spell I never knew. The caster has to perceive the target? I'm learning something new today. Let's move Fasima up. Now let's move Spiritual Weapon. Can you attack now? You can. That is so interesting. I just learned a brand new interaction with that spell. Because the... I guess the... Yeah, Holy Bonk. I guess the... 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 The hammer doesn't have eyes, per se. Right? Like, it's not a full summon. It still uses our senses, but we just guide it. Interesting. I learned something new. Also, I'm going to try to... Sacred Flame it. Yeah, about to say, this thing can't have good decks. This is a zombie. So we'll put a little extra damage on it. Radiant will hopefully be more effective than other types. And now we gotta wait for the Tiger Drake <laughs> to creep ever nearer. Come on in. Come on in, the water's fine. Wherever you are. Literally hiding, hiding in the wilderness somewhere. We fought a couple of the Tiger Drakes before. There are four of them. I remember two were kind of a hassle. I'm not looking forward to four, um, but we'll see. Still, wow, they are all gathering, huh? I wonder, I wonder, where's the Draxus? Down here. I would love to be able to fireball all of them. But I don't think that's something we can, we can rely on just yet. Um, unless, if I fly... I could try it. No, but then I won't be able to do it the same turn. Uh, where's this Tiger Drake? This Tiger Drake is... If I double click on it, will it show me? No. Hmm. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to try it. What if I cast spell... What if I go fly? That's haste, this is fly. Uh, oh, I could twin spell it. Ooh, interesting. Had not considered this. <laughs> um, who would be a good twin spell? Maybe either Gwyn or Korug. I guess Korug? Since Gwyn can already do fly, I mean, can already do ranged attacks. Also, a flying Korug is hilarious. So, all right, so let's select. Oh, can I not select Korug? Is he out of range? Apparently so. So who's in range? You can select allied creature or object. I think everyone's out of range. Eh, I guess we won't. I guess we won't twin it then. All right, let's just regular cast it. Fly on ourselves. Solasta, Muto, Viribe. Now, okay, we got some extra movement speed. Yes. See, this is what I wanted. I probably will not be able to fireball them this turn, but on subsequent turns, I definitely could. Um, yeah, let's get up there. Nice. Oh, very cool. I haven't got to use fly a lot, so that's cool. That's very, that's very fun. Um, use power. Hmm. Draconic resistance. That's for fire. Eh, I think I'm good for now. I don't think that I don't think the tiger drink <laughs> reboot my brain. I don't think the tiger drinks breathe fire. Uh, we're gonna end turn. See where this last. Where's this zombie going? Scrambling to. Oh, okay. Wow, my camera's going nuts. Oh, they have two attacks. Good to know. All right, and then we have to see where the last brood drake is going. Or sorry, I just mixed the enemy types. Tiger, drake, brood, dread brood, brood of the dread. 
Yeah, why don't you why don't you move a little closer to your other buddies over there, Tiger Drake? Yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't you line up for me? All pretty. Okay. Okay. Kogurk is resisting some kind of... Oh, yep. Brood of the Dead regains life from half the inflicted damage. Yep, they do have life drain. They do. Okay. So they are vampiric in some degree. All right, so we got to put them down quickly before they completely regenerate off of their hits from us. So we're going to try and put this one down right now. All right. Decent damage. Decent damage. All right, one of us should be able to put him out next turn. End turn. Uh, hopefully the drakes don't get too much movement. Whoa. Got more than I thought they would right there, I'll be honest. Um, okay. Ooh, this is tough. Ah, if Adraxus would have had a higher initiative to get up there sooner, that would have been ideal. Hmm. Let's cat. Do you have line of sight on this enemy? Kitaela? You do. You do. Alright. What spells do you have that could help? Alright, we're out of these. We have slow. We have. We also have fireball with her. Uh, hold person won't work. Blindness could work, but it feels like kind of a waste at the moment. Um, hmm, dedicated damage, though? Huh. That's not going to attack till next turn. I'm going to upcast Magic Missile. I'm gonna see if I can't end this brood monster right here. How many do I get? Four? It's 1d4, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 is the minimum amount of damage I think I can hit for, if I'm doing that math correctly. Let's see. Nice! <laughs> that was like a magical, <laughs> like, machine gun. Doom, 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 coming out of her hand. Uh, well done. Okay, that works for me. Uh, that's one down. Let's see her hop over here. Click like a bunny. Nice. So nimble. Uh, and turn. Now we're back to Gwyn, and Gwyn has this thing to worry about now. Um, we'll provoke an opportunity attack if I jump. But this thing has Hunter's Mark on it, which means it should be my priority. Um, I feel like it's worth it. I don't think I don't think the Tiger Drake. Ah, oh, Ghost quickly came in to say hi because you're unable to sleep. Well, we are here to help you take some rest. <laughs> you can you can listen to me calculate all of my possible mistakes. <laughs> I already made a couple of this fight. Uh, but I'm sorry that you can't sleep. I've actually had the opposite problem. I was out. Well, I guess, no, I guess the same problem, but now I'm paying for it. Uh, math does make me tired, so let's go. Yeah, exactly. Now, now you're speaking my language. Uh, I was out at a birthday party for a friend two nights ago, and then the night afterward, I was hanging out with, with people uh, far too late, and so I've been paying for it all this week. I've been just... Just a slug. Just an absolute bloody slug. So I'm feeling you. Um, but I'm, I can't get to sleep. I'm sitting here streaming. So what, what, what's going on with my brain? I've hacked it. I've hacked the code. I've, I'm in the mainframe. Uh, let's do this double bounce thing. And hopefully Gwyn won't eat a tiger drake bite. Ah, nice. Too quick. Nice. I love when the battlefield has like horizontal, or not sorry, not, not horizontal. I almost said horizontality. I'm almost certain that's not a real word. Verticality is what I meant. When they have like levels for us to jump and play on, it makes everything a lot more like dynamic. Um, all right, yeah, let's use our, let's use our hunter's mark and our, our favorite enemy undead to hopefully put down there we go. That's good damage. Look at all that dice. Um, come on, one more just like that. Even better. 
A nat 20, baby! No, you're still alive. You're kidding. Wow. I mean, pretty much all, nearly smote it. But how lucky did that get? It has to be hanging on with like one hit point. Uh, all right, we're going to end turn. I'm um, hoping these things don't get too close. I wanted to fireball them so bad. I think they're dashing. Ugh, that sucks. Maybe we'll be able to hit two of them next round. All right. Um, which means let's move our... Hmm. We could maybe bonk this guy to death. Let's give him a little bonk. <laughs> little godly bonk. There it is. <laughs> when you're a hammer, every problem seems to look like a nail, including a zombie. <laughs> All right, and so now we got Facima's turn proper. I feel like we're gonna have to fight our way up into these, to the ceiling now. Jeez, I really didn't. I didn't really plan this fight very well. Well, Grant, I didn't mean to get into it. I stumbled into it. Uh, all right, so let's move over here. And at the very least... Oh, I can cast a full spell this turn, huh? What do I have? I see invisibility. That's not really going to help in this situation. At the very least, I could Guiding Bolt someone. And maybe, um... What do I have? Aid here. Find traps. Yeah, why don't we Guiding Bolt at level 2... And just make these tiger tricks a little easier to deal with. How about that? Mommies. Nice! That was a hit! Ooh, that's very good. That's like more than half their health in one attack. Okay, let's see where you go. I think they're also dashing. They're using two movement. Oh, are you going to go for Draxus? Don't do that. No, you're... All right, they're all heading towards the entrance, which does... Okay. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Can I get them all in a fireball without hurting my friends? <laughs> this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Um, well, I don't know if I want to heighten it yet. Uh, can I... Uh, if I move it over one... I can definitely get two without hitting any of my friends. Hmm. That almost looks like three. Can I get... <laughs> I feel like I'm just fighting the mouse more than anything. Because it works on a grid. So it's like the slightest errant twitch. I could... No, that, that gets Gwyn in it. We don't want to hit Gwyn. I mean, once again, if anybody is down to take it, it's probably Korug. But still, if I could not burn Korug alive, like, I wouldn't, you know? This is definitely all three of them. I don't think, I don't think there's any way around it. Well, uh, let's order up one deep-fried Korug. <laughs> As I move my mouse. Uh, because at the very least, he has the health to deal with it. And he's raging right now. Oh, no, but that doesn't affect fire damage, huh? Ugh. I need to get the one sorcery power that allows you to shape your spells. And that way I could just drop bombs right on the party and not worry about it. Oh, wait, is that... No, that's not going to hit everybody. Oh, that one is, that one is, that one is, that one is. All right. Um... All right, we do have the opportunity to move beforehand. Sorry, I'm being so picky about this. I would love to optimize this hit if I could. What if I move here before I fire it? Cast spell. Fireball. Yeah, why not? Let's heighten it.
Oh, there it is. Ha ha. I've done it. I've done it. I've cracked the code. Let's deep fry these drakes. Beautiful. Uh, did any of them die? No, they got close though. I got one to half. One to a third, and the other's almost dead. All right. Oh, could have been better. That was a lot of... <laughs> I was really thinking Fireball was going to be more dramatic than that. <laughs> but hey. Uh, points on the board is points on the board. We'll end turn. This one is unscathed, but that's fine. The rest are hurt enough now that one lone Drake should not be a, a significant threat for the four of us. Five of us. I keep forgetting about Kitaela. Uh, Alright, so Koru, you got one that's like right in your grill, right? It's hard to see. They're all flapping in front of me all willy-nilly. Uh, <laughs> I swear there are two sharing the same space. Because I think one is flying higher than the other. That one has full health, I think. What's this one? That one has a third of its health. So we're going to go for that one. Reckless attack. Uh, yeah, let's... There we go. Almost dead. Uh, <laughs> now I have to like time my click so that I actually hit the drink that I want to hit. Although they both are pretty close to dead, so I guess it doesn't truly matter. There we go. Oh, nice. I critted that too because I got Savage Attack on it. Beautiful. End turn. Then this thing is going to flap in a little bit further. It's fine. They're doing exactly what we want. They're all hitting Korug. Oh, although they just crit Korug back. But he's got Rage, so he's good. Um, also, this is a false wall we can knock down. I just noticed that. Kitaela, what can you do right now? Cast Spell. You could also Fireball. That would be kind of hilarious. Uh, I mean, hey, if it worked once... If it ain't broke, although she's in a much more, or I should say, less advantageous position. I don't think she can get everybody without getting Korug. Unless. Un. Lodeless. Actually, I can't even tell if you're in the zone of that. <laughs> it's like th uh, targeting in three dimensions, man. I wasn't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I. I didn't get this far in 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 math. Maybe right here. Hmm. No, actually. All right. Maybe. Maybe I don't go big. Maybe that's not. That's not her place right now. Uh, let's cast spell instead. Who's almost dead? You're almost dead. Yeah, let's do let's do another let's do another magic missile. And this time, let's throw two here, and then the other two. You cannot see this target. The other two here. Oh, uh, I think I might have accidentally. Good kill. All right, got one down. I think I, I think I overkilled the one, but that's fine. Um, and let's move you up here. Oh, I was hoping she would jump from right for the other one. That'd have been cooler. It's okay, Kitaela. You're still far more useful now that you found your spell book. Thank God. Okay, now let's see who else we got here. Let's try and put down the one that has damage on it. Attack. Yeah, this one. Wow, one shot. Sniper mode on Lady Gwyn. Um, oh, I can't get another... I can't switch my Hunter's Mark this turn. I didn't use another bonus action, did I? I feel like I should be able to do that. 
Uh, what if I cancel? No, I can't? Really? Huh. Alright. Well. Or maybe did I move it at the beginning of that turn? I can't remember. Uh, still, I get some extra damage on there. End turn. Alright, Fasima. Spiritual weapon was kind of a waste now, huh? Maybe not. You can still get a bonk in. A grand and righteous bonk. Although, you're gonna miss. <laughs> so not quite as grand and righteous as I would have liked. Uh, cast a spell. Oh, shit, I just switched my weapon. Uh, I should have kept my hand free. Uh, I'll go up and just stab. There we go, points on the board, points on the board. That's battle, says Karuk. <laughs> No, Ko, really? What else is it? Uh, alright, let's move... Here will give us line of sight. Oh, I'm flying. Everywhere is gonna give us line of sight. Never mind. Uh, cast spell. I keep forgetting I'm flying with you. Uh, let's just, yeah. Straight up. I can't twin. So just straight up hit. Oh, I just realized I could knock things off the ceiling to hit them too. But I don't think that's truly advantageous for us, given we have the firepower as it is. Uh, and turn. Next hit on this thing should be the final hit, whoever gets it. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. Koru might be able to, because I brought spears! Nice. Throw those spears. <laughs> okay. Uh, a whiff on the first one. Koruk's like, you're not getting away from me. <laughs> or maybe you might. You just you just keep waiting. I'll get to you eventually. All right, we'll move up a little bit. Um <laughs> A real little goblin. How dare you? Come on, Fasim. I thought we were close to that. You're gonna call me... I'm clearly an orc. I'm a big, strong boy. Um, how dare you? Uh, let's go with cast a spell. Uh, I don't want to use anything too fancy on this guy, right? He's got seven health left. I feel like even a, a meager shadow dagger might put him away. Try and conserve our resources, you know? Yeah, nice. All right. Another victory in the books. Let's claim our spoils. A bunch of scales and spears that I threw, makes sense. All right, now, yeah, these doors look like they can be knocked around. Oh, but there's no path to destination. Well, luckily, that's why we have some ranged attackers. Adraxus, can you... <laughs> as you fly around. Where are you going, Adraxus? Uh, can you hit this thing with a fireball for me, please, my darling, my boy? My beautiful scaly boy. Solasta, evil. Malmis. Oh! oh. oh. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna fall that way. I'm so sorry, Adraxus. Oh, I feel bad. I thought it'd fall the other way. These things never fall the way, like you would think that if you're shooting an arrow, you're shooting a firebolt, like if this is the object, and if I shoot and I hit something, the force would carry it this way, right? But they're only coded to fall one way. So like you hit it and it's like, oh yeah, I'll definitely fall, <laughs> I'll fall forward. I mean, I get that they designed the, ge the geometry of the level a certain way but that always surprises me oh i feel bad i got him smacked by a pillar while he was flying I feel like an asshole all right uh let's not hit the ceiling things that will fall on us but let's open up there we go perfect now we got some more rooms to discover let's get the gang together get up into here Okay, you're tough. Oh, what's this? 
Oh no, what are you? Brood of blood. Oh, are you just another... Are you another one of the same? Or are you something scarier? What was the first thing called? I see Tiger Drake. Brood of Dread. This one's called Brood of Blood. Yeah, this one may be harder. Um, let's put a arrow, but there's only one of you, so you can't be that bad. Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. But what are you doing in this tomb all by yourself is my question. You have to be a little harder. Hopefully you're guarding some cool loot or something, though. I don't know. Uh, let's put you in the back corner. And then fire, fire. Uh, excuse me. Why is your targeting not cooperating? My darling, there you go. Okay. Yeah, me too, Koru. Literally the only thing in a room. You're Master Archer. And you missed twice! Get out of here. I mean, don't. You're... <laughs> we need you, but also... Get out of here. Uh, Alright, let's put... Faseem up front. Uh, why are you in here all by yourself? That's so concerning. Uh, cast a spell. What do I got here? What can I even do? Um, I guess I could cast a buff spell. What do I have in terms of buffs? Mm, cure wounds. Spirit guardians. Now I'm out of... Oh, excuse me. I'm catching up with me. I'm out of third level spells, so no, I can't actually cast that. Um... Man, she really does not have a lot of offensive options available to her. Maybe we just... Uh, maybe we just stab. Very, uh, very atypical Fasima turn, but... Okay. Still points, still points. End turn. Uh, Kitayela, let's get you... Uh, let's get you over here. Hmm... No, you're plot critical. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's just move her in front of the path of the vampire lady. Let's move her here. Also, this is broad daylight. I mean, I get that you're in a tomb or whatever, but there's tons of holes and in the ceiling and in the walls. Shouldn't you be, like, roasting? Shouldn't you be... Shouldn't you be flambéed? Um, speaking of flambé, maybe I'll just help you with that. Um... Uh, not gonna fireball. Let's just do a scorching ray. I also need to gauge how strong she is. A killing blow. Oh, I thought you said a killing blow. I was like, that did not kill anybody, Adraxis. It was a telling blow. A telling blow. All right, let's get here, Korug. You know what the deal is, Korug. Rage. Reckless attack. Swing away. Oh, he still has his spears out. No, we need your axe. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't think this enemy is too tough. I feel like I feel like I. Oh, oh, disengaged. I feel like I kind of wasted some of my spell slots now, but we'll see. Uh, let's move up here. Speaking of wasting spell slots, uh, I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to cast Burning Hands. I am going to upcast Burning Hands. Hmm. Huh. Am I? Yeah. I'll upcast it. Let's see if I can put you out of your misery. No, wow. Okay. Uh, and then we'll move you back. Oh, that means she's... Mm, she can pretty much get to anyone she wants now since she disengaged. Uh, I'll put you behind Korug and see what's up. 
end turn. But it's Gwyn's turn first, and she's got some arrows, and she's still Hunter's Marked. This might be it. If we get... Try again. Never mind, it will not be it. <laughs> it will not be it twice. Gwyn, what is wrong with your eyes, my girl? This is literally what you were born to do. You are an elf ranger. Uh, at the very least, we maybe get up on this wall. That's cool, we can get up on this wall though. We can see outside, maybe? Okay. Nothing really going on, but good to know. Uh, and turn. Fasima, Fasima, Fasima. What are we doing here? I think we are getting close. We got the high armor class. We're in this plate. And we're just gonna. I don't think we wanna. I think we're just gonna stab. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just stab. Okay, okay. Points on the board, points on the board. And turn. Oof, we don't want to waste any... Ow. Oh, let me think, let me think. Shadow Dagger deals what kind of damage? Psychic. Okay, I thought it was Necrotic. Necrotic would not have been good on a on a vampire. Hmm. Health is low. Probably won't die from a cantrip. But Korug has the next hit. So, the likelihood of Korug hitting is pretty high. I feel like maybe we just shadow dagger it and get a little bit closer to death. Bravo. Whoa, never mind. Okay, Kitaela, surprising us with a critical dagger. Although I will say, I'm so tired. Hello, hello there, wind up from work. Ailing, a pleasure to have you. I think honestly, Ailing, that is the theme. I'm exhausted. I'm like. I've been barely hanging on for two days because I was a dumb boy and went out too much. And then, uh, and then, uh, uh, Vex, Ghost Vex, uh, was also saying that, uh, that they're sleepy. I think just the entire stream is, is barely holding on, is what I'm, <laughs> is what I have learned today. So join the party. Join the sleepy party, the sleepy party gang. That's what we're doing. Um, oh, dang. A lot of our resources are getting kind of low. Except our health is, well, huh. It's really our rages and stuff. I think we only get those back on long rest though. Wolf partying too hard. Honestly, I I kind of was this weekend. <laughs> it was, uh, I mean, I had fun. Don't get me wrong. I went out to a friend's birthday party and then I also went out again another night. Um, so I shouldn't. You know, I brought this upon myself, and I did enjoy myself, so I shouldn't boo-hoo. But, yeah, I, I... And and last night, even, I didn't go out, but I was like, oh, I, I, I can go to bed early. I got work tomorrow. I ended up staying up to, like, midnight, like, theory crafting a Magic the Gathering deck. <laughs> I don't know. I had an idea, and I was like, oh, I'll just, like, I'll just, like, you know, toss a few cards in like a deck builder and like, you know, see if it works. And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> what if I, what if I did this? <laughs> and then like, suddenly it's midnight and I'm like, I, well, I, I've literally just played a ghost game against myself three times. What? There's no reason. Uh, it'd be like, that's a sailing. I've done that with Destiny. Oh, I can only imagine. Wait, is there like a... Cause I've only played Destiny One. It's Destiny Two. Like uh, you're talking about, like like doing like uh, uh, what's the word? Like test builds. Like figuring out like what armor and weapon. Like it gives you the best numbers. <laughs> Makes number go up the way that you want number to go up. Um, might take a short rest here actually. Get some of our get some of our health back. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's go one, a two, a three, a one, mm. yes, a one, a two, a three. I think that's good. Uh, you can do one more for Koru, right? We're going to get half of them back. Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, I'll do one more. Full health. Uh, they don't give you stuff like that for the most part, says Ailing. It's on R and Jesus to grant us good things. For me, I spent hours studying builds, subclasses. Yep, 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 yep. I know exactly that feeling. And the best weapons to fit my unorthodox playstyle. Ailing, you unorthodox? Perish the thought. <laughs> Nay, I do I don't believe it. <laughs> Eat the kelpies as ailing. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so I think this is just an alternative way to enter this crypt to fight this monster, which, like, didn't even give me any loot. I mean, I guess it gave me experience, but, like, I don't know. It feels like if you're a monster that's hidden in this secret room all by yourself, you're probably guarding something cool, but, I mean, I don't see anything that's really that worthwhile. Unless it's hidden behind some, like, weird... Let me just use my gamer brain for a second. Let me cast spell. Let me cast Firebolt on this torch. You know, what if I have to light a torch and then something cool happens? I don't know. Games work like that. Nope, but I did light it up. That's, that's nice. Everyone's warm now. Everyone can see better. Uh, Alright, now let's try... I play as a titan tank who uses nothing but bows and swords. I do not use guns. That's pretty hardcore. I didn't realize, like I said, I've only played Destiny 1, but I thought only certain class, I thought only like the hunter got the bow and the sword. Did they like, they like change that? They're like, yeah, anybody can do it now. Cause that's kind of cool. I like the idea that you can just have those options available. There's something under the ground, said Kitaela. Like, where? Outside? Were you talking about... What are you talking about? What's this thing also, by the way? There's ah. something... Yeah, the music is very calming. Alright, I think... I don't know. I thought, I thought maybe this room was... Or this building was more important, but I think it was just an excuse to get us to almost die. Which I guess, as far as D&D goes, is a good excuse enough for anything. Um, I feel like I've, I was I was doing some, like, out-of-the-box exploring of this area. <laughs> Toddy says, It's always interesting to think about how much of the real underground is just sewage water. <laughs> Yo, I, there are certain things, you know, that I don't really need to, I think it's better if I don't ponder, <laughs> like, what, 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 what hides and lurks beneath my feet. I'm already worrying about enough stuff, <laughs> existentially. I don't know if I have to worry about what lurk, what lies beneath, um, although if we can figure out what lies beneath my... It's too quiet. Usually means something bad's gonna happen. If we can figure out what is lying beneath um, the pipes of my my apartment building, <laughs> because for some reason my I, I I mean this is a very first world problem I know, but for some reason my shower pressure <laughs> and like the heat of my water drastically changed like within the past week, and now it is very it is very not as warm and it is very not as hard. And I'm I'm a little bummed about it, and I texted my landlord, and I was like, "Hey, uh, just just wondering if there's any like, you know, weird thing happening with our water system." And they're like, "You're the first person to say anything about it. They're probably just uh, updating the water main. They like never tell us." And I was like, "Okay, I'll just keep my ear out then, because uh, it's just not as enjoyable." Uh, but no, Toddy, you are right. It is true. I cannot deny you that. That is a you are you are a true a true a soothsayer of that. Ailing, thank you. I, I, I'm glad that someone here shares my... I was going to say commiserates with my misery, but I guess that's the whole point of commiserating, right? You are co... You are co-miserating. <laughs> um, okay, this is going down. There's also this weird platform over here. Do I go into to scary underground or do I go to platform? Scary underground or platform... 
I'm gonna quickly save here, no matter what decision I make. What do we say, gang? Do we wanna figure out what lies <laughs> underneath? Or do we go to this platform? My quest is only explore my surroundings. So I don't have the, the most, uh, what's the word, evocative. Time to jump in the sewage water then, says Kaling. Okay, yep, 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 let's do it. We'll go through here. We're sneaking, so maybe we can avoid, so oh, there's a treasure chest. Oh, maybe, maybe sewage water was the right way to go. There's a treasure chest, but it's also just kind of hanging out on its own. Which is a little sus. Okay. Let's see. No, it's just a legit treasure chest. I mean, it's got one gold in it. And a stick. And a flower. So, you know, big time loot there. Glad I almost died fighting a zombie horde and a bunch of flying snakes really really worth it um okay but we can still poke around here this looks like unexplorable terrain that looks like unexplorable terrain so really it's only this way huh were these the stairs that we first found when we came in by the wolves have we made like a semicircle? Let's see. Let's figure out where we are. Let's get let's get a let's get a lay of the land here. This area is huge, as far as I can see it. No, I think those are different stairs. And this place looks unexplorable as well. As does. This way, so it's just a dead end? No, 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 I can go here. Yo, this place is wild. Oh, we track spotted. Going this way. Was this the way we came initially? Because we found tracks initially. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. So I lied. No, no, no. This is where we made our entrance in. Remember, we knocked over this pillar. We came this way. We didn't see tracks the first time through, though. So there's at least two different set of tracks. Both at the front where the wolves were at the gate. And on the side. I'm assuming the tracks probably go the same way if we follow them. Although I'm not seeing any more tracks. We would have seen them when we went this way, right? This is peculiar. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. All right, if we came this way, let's backtrack a little bit. We can go all the way here. Yeah, that's where the original tracks were. Let's go this way. Let's get out of cautious mode. Let's, let's, oh wait. Well, they're, they're going to cut across this way, huh? They're going to go path of least resistance. Which brings us to the platform. Or near the platform. This is the building we just explored. Okay. So this was the way they initially... Like someone's watching us. Yeah, me too, Gwyn. What's this way? I know that I keep avoiding the straight path, but... I mean... That's just who I am as a person. I just can't go where it, I have a problem with authority <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> the game is like, hey, this is obviously the way forward that the game designers are intending you to explore. And I'm like, cool, I'm going to make that the last possible decision that I make. Awesome. Thanks for giving me the easy way. First, <laughs> I will be ignoring it. Um, and much to no one's surprise, this is a dead end. Oh, no, it's not? What?
it's it's explorable but there's no path so that must mean there's a way down there Ooh, wait a second wait a second that way maybe there's not a way to climb up here is there if i give you that area no path okay so there's probably a way in that main crucible area uh-huh peculiar peculiar uh, i've also just noticed that gwyn's arrows are running a little low we should probably get that straightened out before we run into more enemies uh, let's, Gwyn, where are you at? You got three arrows left. Let's use your quiver. God, that quiver is so good. 20 arrows every hour. I just will never run out of arrows for the rest of this playthrough. I love that. I'm spoiled. And I love it. Uh, okay. We're loaded up on arrows. Let's move forward. All right, so it kind of, oh, uh, well, I was going to say all points are leading to the platform, but I see a side path, which means I got to take it. <laughs> Why am I so difficult? Is this explaining a lot about me as a person? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay. Ooh, ooh. I see uh, something in the water. Oh, in the water. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> you just like to see all there is to offer. Yes, at my own expense. Um, you see something in the water. Okay, I see it, but I can't interact from, from it, with it from here. What if I... Adraxus, can you fireball this from your distance? From your current position? What's your favorite position? That's cool with me. It's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you. Okay, yeah, I can get in there. <laughs> That's Tenacious D, by the way, if anybody is as old as I am. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. There's all these, like, windows to open. I'm so perplexed. That mechanic was kind of like in the undead uh, castle. We could use the the windows to let in light to, to help us with the uh, with the zombies. But to be honest with you, the light didn't. Or sorry, the vampire. But to be honest with you, the the light didn't do it uh, as much as I wanted it to. Um, but I mean, if it's giving us the option to do it, I feel like it may be worthwhile. Wait, can I still? No. All right. God, this place has so is so twisty and turny. All right, so we've, we've knocked open some lights. That's another way in. Looks like there's something over here as well, because there's water. Looks like maybe we can drain the water from the other side to get this treasure, maybe? That's what my brain is saying. That's what my brain is saying. Wow. Just when you, this has to be the biggest explorable area we've seen. They're just every time I think there's gonna be an out of bounds zone, there's like another layer. I mean, I guess our objective is explore your surroundings, so if that was their intent, they have us doing exactly that. Um But wait, how do we get in here? Trust your instincts as ailing, and if your instincts fail, you can just punch your enemies to death. We do have Korug with us, so... <laughs> when all else fails, punch. Pretty sure is Korug's motto. And another hidden pathway. Oh, and a long rest site! Oh, that was totally worth it. It was totally worth it to find a long rest site. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> Korug is my spirit animal. Listen, I am happy that Korug is... 
warms I, warms people heart people's heart is that is that accurate to say that's what Kobru does does he warm people's heart I don't know what exactly the emotional effect he has on people but <laughs> uh, I'm so glad he's become uh, become our, our unofficial mascot um, all right secret long rest zone hell yeah Ooh, bring Koru back in Baldur's. That's not a bad idea, Ailing. That's not a bad idea. I originally was gonna play um the same character I played in my in my um my pre-release playthrough, which was a Tiefling uh, Warlock Bard multiclass. Um, but that's not a bad idea. Having Koru back for that game might be really fun. Um, oh man, I'm now now my now my brain is like, I I I don't know what all the um the subclasses they're gonna bring into Baldur's yet. I don't know if they even know yet. But there's that one warlock subclass that does um the cursed item. Like you have like a cursed weapon, the shadow weapon. Like what if we were a warlock barbarian multiclass? Um, you know, because that's whole Koru's thing, right? Is that he's bound to the crown. He has, like, the cursed magic object. So if instead we turned his weapon into, like, uh, like a shadow, like a sword, like a weapon, you know, that he's bound to, it can kind of, like, keep the theme alive. Uh, Ailing says, you got me plotting. Yeah, you do. You got me plotting. You absolutely do. Um, wow. Actually, now I'm... Oh, what if I... Okay, I have plans. I have lots of plans now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Ailing, you may you don't know, but you may have just drastically changed the trajectory of a few different plans in my life with that statement. <laughs> oh, you may have just made some things very a lot more interesting for for myself and others. Um yeah. Stay tuned. Korug. Korug just may may surface. And especially if I, I'll do some research on the builds. Um, but if we can get that one warlock archetype that has the cursed weapon, absolutely 100 percent 100 percent without a doubt. Um, but I think I can still make it work in another way. 2023, the rise of Korug. <laughs> yeah, this is Korug's year. This is Korug, this was this is his time. Um, sh uh, waiting to perform a long rest. You've already performed a long rest today. Would you like to wait until the start of a new day? I guess we can still explore a little bit further out, but it's good to know that this is here. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you can, <laughs> it's this year. Everybody's talking about it. Listen, we're talking about it. That is, th that is at least three more people talking about the rise of Korug than you, than other, than other people might think. It's gotta start somewhere. Whoa, what is this? There's something in the ground. There's something in the gr Whoa. This place has so many little secret little nooks and crannies. Oh, secret treasure. Ooh, a primed sword. A great sword. Ooh, that's Korug stuff right there. Loot all. Yeah, maybe I'll be... I still have to look up how to enchant in this game. We got stuff for enchanting. But we haven't spent too much time in town to really do that. That's another problem when I play games. I'm not much of a downtime person to figure that out. Oh, wait. Is this... Yeah, this is where we were before. This was... This was that... Right? That, that was the thing I shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the other side. Oh, can I get up here now? Hell yes, I can. Oh, we've done it. We've cracked the code, and that's how we get in here. Oh, I love being right. Few things I love more in life than being right. <laughs> uh, oh, this looks like a place where bad things are going to happen, huh? Considering the other combat zone looked almost identical to this. Um... All right, well, you know, easy does it. We got one rage left in us. Yep, there's a zombie there. There's a zombie there. Okay. Um, 
Wait a second, Gwyn. Gwyn, if you shoot one of these things, does it fall on their heads? I feel like that one definitely falls on this guy's head. <laughs> I feel like this absolutely crushes this, this zombie right here. Um. Oh, and there's a water thing. Oh, we're figuring it out. We're putting the pieces together. Yeah, first things first, Gwyn's gonna shoot this and we're gonna see if we just bop this zombie right on his head. <laughs> oh, I love it. And everyone's still hidden. That's great. All right, so you're on the floor now. What happens if I shoot... Oh, there's so many things to shoot. What happens if I shoot the water drainage thing? Okay, so it did spill the water out into here. Which means that treasure can be claimed now. So I was right on that. Figuring it out. Putting it together. I'm a smart boy. Wait, did it? What happened to the other zombie? Did he drown? Did I drown him? He's disappeared? I see the one. Or what if I shoot this thing over here? Select a target. Why won't you let me do it? Why won't you let me do it? I want to shoot it. There we go. All right, you're gonna fall that way, which has another secret chamber in here. I hope that, well, maybe I shouldn't have shot that one. Maybe that one's filled with enemies like the other one was. Ah, eh, too late now. Famous last words. Um. Although I'm curious where that other zombie went. Hmm. All right, let's... I'm a little nervous. All right, what if I... Can you get over here, Gwen, with your sneaky self? Oh wait, there is a zombie in there. I see him. I see that little bastard. Brood of flesh. There's been, okay, this is also interesting. I don't know if this is relevant yet to the story, but there are definitely three different distinct types of of these like, they're not zombies because we've seen zombies. They're literally called zombies in the bestiary. Um, but they're kind of like upgraded undead. I don't really know what the equivalent in proper d d is. They were originally found when we fought the vampires. The one was called, these are called the Broods of Blood. The two that we fought before were called the Broods of Dread. And this is the Brood of Flesh. So there are kind of like unique undead subtypes, but I don't exactly know what they're replicating in like, or maybe they're like, um, uh, what do you call them? Vampire spawn? Maybe they're different types of vampire spawn? but it's kind of hard to, to know for sure. All right, we can at least set up a pretty good perimeter to fight in before things get hairy. Let's put Koruk here in front of the room where the other baddie's waiting. That way he can kind of be our, our first line of defense. Okay, where else? Fasima. Well, we need Kitayela to be up high because she cannot be attacked or else the game ends or killed and the game ends. Um, we can put... Uh, Fasima, you got some heavy armor. Let's put you... Well, wait, where did... Are Quinn's there? Uh, let's put Fasima here. Hopefully you can make it. Okay, there you go. Strong girl. Uh, and then let's keep Adraxis up here on the bridge as well with Kitaela. And that's a pretty good, right? Like, they're set up pretty well for itching for a fight. Um, and then, how are we going to start off this fight? 
How are we gonna how are we gonna kick it off? Um I feel like maybe it should be What are your spells looking like, Itayela? Ooh, we can upcast a scorching ray to start everything off. Yeah. Let's go in. Oh, you don't have line of sight? Come on. Let's move you over here. You can definitely get up on there. Nice. <laughs> Look at this dumb little, little creature. Doesn't know we're creeping. Bum, 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 bum. Started off right. Nice! Oh! Just rained hellfire from above. Nice, Kitayella. Well done. That was good. That was a good hit. Okay, it succeeded on the perception check, so we're, we're seen now. Um, but it doesn't mean we still can't move around. Let's move over here. Nice. Like the wind. Brood of Dread. There is a Brood of Dread here. But, like, I don't see them on the map after we knock them down. That's so weird. Are they buried under something? I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's end turn. Gwen is gonna show up. All right, Gwen, you know what to do. My darling girl. You need to put that hunter's mark on this Zambo. The Zambini. Nice. And you got a bunch of attacks in you. Nice. Well done, one more just like that, come on. Ah, too low. Um, but we're gonna keep you on your perch, and turn. Fasima. Hmm. If we move her up, she's gonna be in line of sight of that thing. What spells do you have in your, in your back pocket right now? Cast spell. Uh, we can't do the holy bonk, can we? Can we do the almighty bonk? Oh, we got the almighty bonk. Godspeed! Or should I say bonk speed? Get boinked. Wait, let me boink you. Let me do it. There we go. Ha. <laughs> or, wow. You really just made me build that up for nothing, gang. All right, uh, cast spell. Uh, let's do Sacred Flame. Just keep it moving. Dang. She's dodging everything. End turn. <laughs> Kogs like, dodge this, as he runs in with his axe. Um, uh, which is pretty much exactly what's going to happen. Uh, if he runs in here, he's going to get seen. But, I mean, that's kind of fine right i mean like yeah he might as well go here she's almost dead let's run here <laughs> look at him creeping don't worry i'm just gonna get right up here surprise <laughs> uh all right uh rage uh reckless attack swing in big damage come on one more like that one more like that my darling boy, my big darling boy. Almost killed them. If we would have got one more hit on that girl, if the holy bonk would have hit, that would have been fine. Alright, so yeah, she heals. She hits him and takes a little bit of health back. Oh, and she... I'm sorry, she just ran up the side of a wall. She ran up the side of a wall like she was Spider-Woman. Did you see that? It wasn't even like she did like a crawl animation. It was like walk, 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 completely vertical. 
I learned something new today. So they're Vampire Spawn. There's some variant of Vampire Spawn because Vampire Spawn have Spider Climb as an innate ability. Although this thing did not climb at all. Climb would not be the word I would use to describe the actions just taken there. That was horrifying. Um, okay. So she's really low on health. Do I want to... Oh, I have Twin Spell. And I have Line of Sight on both enemies. So it's kind of an unexciting turn, but we could just Twin Spell and hopefully put you down and then at least put points on the board on you. Solasta, Evo, Malmis. Nice. Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. Love it when a plan comes together. I just love it when a plan comes together. Uh, all right, so we're going to move... Are we gonna move? We could just stay here. Well, Brood of Dread has 71 HP. Oh, he's in the other room. Wow, sneaky. Another undead hiding in there. Very sneaky. Brood of Dread has 71 HP. That's like, that's not nothing. Like, Korug has 75 only when he's buffed. Like, that's a pretty big, that's a chunky boy. Okay. So you also have the ability to spider climb as you just straight up stand on the side. Let's all, we all see this. Yes, you are all, you are just standing. Just so, just this is a casual thing that you enjoy doing with your friends. This labyrinth, this David Bowie-esque labyrinth moment that we're all sharing together. Thank you ever so much. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name again? No one says it right, Kitaela. Uh, okay. Where are you even at? You're in the side chamber. Cast spells. What do you got cooking? You still have... Hmm, Scorching Ray. They have a negative effect on them. What do they have? Oh, they're light sensitive. They are disadvantaged in light. Oh, so that well, I guess it was good that we knocked open those um those things then. Ah, I knew it. I planned it. Don't worry. Ha <laughs> ha. Smart guy. Uh, let's go. One, two, three, four. Let's just spread the love. Let's just spread it out. Okay, three out of four, ain't the worst. Um, so if the Brood of Blood, they all have to have some sort of unique ability now, right? So if the Brood of Blood does Health Drain, Brood of Dread, I assume, has a fear power, a fear effect. Uh, but we, I don't think that we, I think this is the first time we've ever seen a Brood of Flesh. So whatever Brood of Flesh are capable of, I am not sure. I can't even really hazard a guess but we'll find out. Um, all right, and so now we gotta move our Hunter's Mark. So who do we move it on, Dread or Flesh? Uh, I'm gonna say Dread. I feel like Flesh is probably gonna be the tankiest, so we can probably, f actually, but this one has more damage on it. Let's put it on Flesh. Let's see what happens. Okay. Next time. Nice, Gwyn. You have just been... Thank you. Let's hit a double digit on some of those rolls, huh? That'd be nice. Um, we'll keep you on your perch for now. Oh, and then you're all by yourself over here. Let's move. You won't have enough space to move the spiritual weapon all the way in. But we can at least move you closer. Okay, the holy bonk, getting closer. Uh, now we got her here, let's cast a spell. Or maybe, we might do something else. Hmm, we don't really have a lot of... Could bless. Bless might not be bad, actually. Let's bless. 
Uh, I'm gonna add Gwyn as a target because she keeps missing every goddamn shot. I'm gonna add Korug as a target because he rolls a lot to hit. I'm gonna add a Draxus as a target because he rolls a lot to hit. And I'm gonna add Kitayela as a target because she also has a lot of ranged spell abilities. Um, I think that's a good mix. Nice. We are blessed. And now, speaking of rolling to hit, Karug. Hello, mate. Um, uh, but getting up there is going to be a problem. Might have to dash. Let's dash. Oh, but even if we dash, we don't really get to where we want to be, huh? Mm, yeah, it's not worth it. Let's just move up here. Oh, I hope we don't lose our rage. I know that if we keep attacking, we keep our rage, but does it specify a melee attack? Because we can't get one where, where we're currently at. Let's see. Look at that boy climbing. What strength? What strength? Um... Immediately stops your rage, but still uses a rage point. Interesting. I never knew that. Let's get our spears out. And let's just try and, and throw a few just to see if we can keep our rage going. <laughs> I love that he just throws spears. When in doubt, Mike do. Nice. Oh, come on. Gwyn, he's hit with his spears twice. He's like... A spear is Koru's least favorite thing. He loves his axe, and he hit both of his attacks. And you are, like, married to your bow, and you miss both shots. Shameful. A sh most shameful display. All right, we actually got a lot of spell slots left for Scorching Ray. Maybe we just do that. We go bum, 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 and just let it rock. Let it rock. Malmis. Oh, Take that, you with a critical! Hell yeah, Draxus! Very nice. Brood of Flesh is almost in the can. All right, let's see what it does with this one turn it's gonna get. Ha <laughs> ha. Big stupid nothing. Okay, I lied. No, regains health. So the Flesh also regains health. And now he's on the underside of that thing? All right, both missed there. Uh, they're like hiding underneath the thing. Uh, okay. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> do you have line of sight on both of them? You have line of sight on one of them. Uh, what kind of spells do you have on you? you? Got burning hands. We might be able to burning hands, but no, we don't. We don't want her getting too close. She's a story character. Let's move you up a little bit. Cast a spell. Who are you even targeting at that angle? <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> Wait! They are literally head to head. <laughs> like, why are they doing that? They're literally clipping through each other's bodies. <laughs> why was their AI like, yes, this is the most optimal way to stand? So that <laughs> our flesh merges into each other that's hilarious that is so good all right well at the very least uh hopefully i will put a few more points on the board with you here uh two out of hit two out of three though not bad not bad uh and then we'll in turn Gwyn, though. Gwyn, what are you doing in your weird position? Do you have a line of sight on both? Yes, you do. Which, I have no idea how. Because that, that is a harsh angle. But I'm not going... <laughs> I still can't get over this, like, crisscross... Like, look at this. This cri... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Why? It's so dumb. Alright, um... Do we have Hunter's Mark still active? We do on this boy, the one with the low health. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, like 
<laughs> I, I am just so charmed by this whole fight and its weird physics. Uh, target. I'm gonna move the target here. And then same thing, gonna move my attack there. Bada bing, bada boom. Pack it out, pack it in. Let me begin. I came to win, battle me. That's a sin. Uh, all right, can we move spiritual weapon closer? We can't, wait. Come on, you're telling me I can get into range but I can't get into holy bonk range? You lie. You lie to me. You tell me. You tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just move you closer then, but not quite hit you. Um. And then what are you gonna do? Uh. I feel like as soon as I drop down here, it's just gonna run away and try to get more distance. But I guess I can't really avoid that either way. Better to try and. Uh, what if we go, well, I can go here. Do I have a line of sight there? No, line of sight here. Yes, oh, this is tough. I, I don't want to send her down there all by herself. That just seems like a, a problem. Let's move you here, actually. And does anybody actually need a heal? No, we're actually pretty good right now. What kind of power do I have? Channel Divinity to see the immediate future and better dodging enemies' attacks. For one minute, the first attack made against you suffers disadvantage. I guess, like, well... Hmm. Could also try and use power turn undead. It won't... It won't disintegrate him, but it will. It might cause him fear. Eh, why not? It's something. Ah, succeeded, huh? Yeah. That's worth a shot. All right, Korug. Can you hit him? I mean, he's pretty much on the ground. He's not that far up in the air. Let's get mine now with that. Uh, yep, so let's switch back to my axe. Let's go back to a reckless attack. Oh, so I did keep my rage up even though I was using a ranged attack. Good to know. Swing in. Nice. Swing in one more time. Nice. Looking, looking pretty, looking pretty slim on the health there. Adraxus might be able to close this if we can just get a line of sight, which is right there. Um... Jump, leap, well done. Uh, you nimble, nimble boy. Let's go to cast spell. This area's been a ton of fighting too. It's been a very action-packed episode. Uh, let's go with firebolt, cancel. I can't twin it anyway. Oh wait, no. I want to cast it, but I just don't want to twin it. Oh, I'm out of sorcery points. So it's not gonna ask me. <laughs> I knew that. Uh, firebolt. Throw it in. Death claims you. Death claims you, says Adraxus. I'm pretty sure they uh, they already experienced that, pal. <laughs> they are they are far beyond the point of death uh, affecting them. Okay, let's get some loot. That's why we walked around this whole dang place. Come on, something good. Okay, okay. Ooh, a dead cleric's letter. Yeah, that sounds like, uh, that sounds like lore. All right, we're about to read that in a second. However, I don't want to forget about the treasure that was in the water that we cleared from outside. Yeah, this one right here. Let's get you. Oh, our blessing went away. Oh, nice, we can crawl out. No, we can't crawl out through there. The hole. Nah, we got to walk all our way around. All right, gang, why don't we just all go together, huh? I don't like this whole Scooby-Doo let's split up situation we got going on over here. <laughs> uh. 
Or are only some of you able to climb through that hole because of your strength score? Do other people have to go the long way? No, no. You got it. Well done. All right, let's get this treasure, those out here. Then let's read the dead cleric's letter. Um, ooh, a scroll of revivify. Primed breastplate. Okay, magic breastplate we can enchant. Sounds good. Loot all. Um, oh, and we leveled up? Oh, I know what we're doing now before we end the stream. Uh, let's find that long rest zone. Yo, that's sick. We're like level seven right now. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's read the cleric letter. Let's level up. We'll get all of our resources back. So we'll start the new day, level seven, which is pretty fun. Hell yeah. Mm. Oh. I don't know where we're at, but hopefully we don't get in any fights navigating our way to the long rest zone. There we go. Run, my little friends, run! Oh, oh. There we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna quick save. We are gonna open up our inventory. Just take a look at that that letter. Dead cleric's letter. Sounds like lore to me. Oh, holy twins, Kairi and Juno, beloved of mankind. My time is now scarce, but my faith is strong. <laughs> Ailing says, my cat is being an absolute goblin on my lap as I'm trying to brush him. Aw, I keep brushing and there's just more fur. Shedding is so rough. Is uh, your uh, cat long hair, short hair? Funnily enough, my cat is a short haired cat and yet she sheds far more. It's like less noticeable. Like there's not like clumps of it like my long haired cat used to be at home. Uh, Norwegian forest cat. I wish I knew my cat breeds better. Um, fur in my nose. <laughs> See, Piper is a short hair cat, but I will get like bits of it. I'll find it all over me and on my clothes. That never really happened with my longer hair cats. Like I'd find like clumps of fur around, but it wouldn't be like layering on top of my shirts and my coats. Um, Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, I'm dying, but my faith is strong. I bid you read these words of my prayer. Know that in my last breaths I've laid low your enemies. Know that with my last drops of blood, I've offered you sacrifice. Oh, okay. So maybe this isn't like the kind of cleric that's like good. <laughs> Know that with my last words I praise you. Life drains from me, though you are ever young. I die, but you shall endure forever. Let the last deeds of this mortal man be my final act of devotion. <coughs> and then the pen <laughs> scrawls off to the side. Okay. Kyrie and Juno. I think that's the first time we've heard these words in the game, in the lore. So we're at an, we're at a monastery, which has been decrepit and like falling apart. Um, and we fought really nothing but undead and more specifically vampire spawn. And this letter is talking a lot about um, giving of blood, sacrifice, uh, keeping her forever young. So it sounds like if this is a clerical order, that they are either, you know, worshipping a vampire or some sort of vampiric force. Um, spooky. Doesn't sound great for us moving forward, but, you know, I'm at least aware of what's happening. Uh, there's not a next... Uh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. Good to know, good to know. God, Kogurk has so much stuff ever since we found that magical backpack. All right, we're gonna double save again. Uh, let's take a long rest. Let's level up. Uh, waiting to perform a long rest. Yes, I would like to take the long rest. I want to be stronger. I want to be mighty. I want to lay low my enemies. Uh, let's level up. Um, 
You've gained 10 hit points. Hell yeah. For Korug. Unlocked class feature. Feral Instinct. Your instincts are so honed that you have advantage on initiative rolls. Beautiful. For this big strong boy. Additionally, if you are surprised at the beginning of combat, you are not incapacitated. Even better. You can act normally on your first turn. But only if you enter rage before doing anything else on that turn. Well, luckily for you... There is very little that we want to do on our first turn of combat other than enter rage. So this is a great feature to get for Korug. Definitely worth it. Uh, thank you for that. No choice is that level, but a solid feature nonetheless. Uh, let's go with Gwyn next. I feel like she'll be less complicated. Gain seven hit points, 53. Perfect. Uh, we gain one new spell to select. We love that. Choose one of the following options. Escape the Horde, Multi-Attack, Defense, or Strong Will. Oh, that's right, because she's a Hunter Ranger, so she gets different hunting techniques. So, Escape the Horde. Opportunity attacks against you are made with disadvantage. Always nice. It's good to be able to uh, dip-dodge out of the way of enemies, especially when you're a ranged build, but I'm not super impressed by that. Multi-Attack, Defense. When a creature hits you with an attack, you gain a plus four bonus to AC against all subsequent attacks made by that creature for the rest of the turn. That's pretty good. Um, very rarely do we find ourselves in a situation where Gwyn is sort of suffering multiple attacks because she's a ranged character. But there's obviously, as we level up, there's going to be more enemies that produce ranged attacks and multiple ranged attacks. And if we ever are pressed to fight in melee, which may happen sometimes with her dual swords, uh, then at least she will be uh, a little bit more survivable. So that, I think that one so far is a little bit more appealing than Escape the Horde. Um, Steel will, advantage on saving throws against being frightened. Frightened is a pretty, is a pretty shitty status effect, all things considered. Um, makes you run away, makes you suffer penalty to attacks. But I also have not seen a great deal amount of fear inflicting enemies quite yet. Um, uh, I feel like I feel like I want to go multi attack defense. I feel like that just sounds pretty pretty strong all the way around. It's going to help against bosses. It's going to help against elites with multiple attacks. Um, I think that's the way to go. So I say it. So shall it be. Oh, and she has a spell. Uh, I don't think I want to unlearn any of her spells. Her current spell is pretty good. Uh, so I'll keep those. Um, she gets new spells. Lesser Restoration. Remove a detrimental condition from an ally. Handy. Um, bark Skin. Gives you an ally. You can touch an AC of at least 16. All of our AC is actually pretty good. I'm not really worried about it. You already have Dark Vision naturally. I'm not worried about it. Find traps, I believe. Fasima has naturally. I'm not worried about it. Protection from poison. Cures and protects against poison. I feel like Lesseration is just a better version of that. Um, spike growth. Now that is, this is interesting. Grow spikes and thorns in the area, making the difficult terrain and causing damage for every cell of movement. So that sounds good. Hmm. But concentration means it conflicts with Hunter's Mark. What about Longstrider? Increases an ally speed by two cells per turn. Jump increases an ally's jumping distance. Animal Friendship. Choose a beast that you can see within the spell's range. The beast must make a wisdom saving throw or be charmed for the spell's duration. That might be kind of good. We just saw some wolves earlier. Like, Spike Growth does seem cool, but... Like, I, I always have Hunter's Markup, because it's just too good not to not have. Um... Ooh, excuse me. Long Strider is also kind of nice in that we could get more movement speed. Generate a sphere of thick cloud of fog for limited time. Creatures inside it cannot attack those on the outside, but that's also concentration. 
but it could be a good way of like just smoke bombing and running. Hmm. Choose a beast you can see within the spell's range. I'm kind of tempted by animal friendship. Maybe that's because we're talking about cats right now. <laughs> and maybe because it seems like a cute thing. But, I mean, my spell save DC is pretty good. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's probably 13, 14, 15 right now. It's tough. Tough, 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 tough. Silence is also a ritual, though. Uh, but it's concentration. Stops thunder damage. Man. I thought this was going to be an easy level, but she ha her spells are like so utility-focused that it's really hard to tell exactly what kind of utility you're going to want. You know? Uh, I'm going to go with Animal Friendship. I feel like we've seen a couple wolves. We see animals out in the wild when we're doing um, overland travel. I feel like we might be able to, to use that. And, and there's no concentration. I go animal friendship. And we'll see what happens. Uh, and then I'm going to go level up a Drax. We can always unlearn it later if it really sucks. Um, uh, Adrax gets health, which is great. And then we gain an additional spell, which is always nice. Uh, oh, and then we have a chance to unlearn a spell this turn. Is fly worth it is my question. Because we've used fly, but it doesn't really like let us fly. You know, it like kind of does. But we're a dragon, so we need to keep fly. That's like, you know, I guess we can't lose it because of that. <laughs> um, just for that 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 uh, that opinion alone. Uh, okay, so let's go to ignore, unlearn, and pick a new spell. Um, ooh, I think it's got to be wall of fire. I mean, I I know I didn't even look at the other spells, but like, literally, we're a fire dragon. That's our whole spiel. Is we're a fire dragon. Um, right? Fire, fire, fire spells. Fire dragon. It's also a control spell, which is always nice. Um, dimension door is nice too, though. That teleports two creatures to safety. Banishment's also nice. There's some good, there's some good spells this level, to be fair. It's a harder pick than some others. Hmm. Actually, could I, if I unlearn color spray, am I allowed to learn? Ooh, I could. I'm going to unlearn color spray, which is a good spell and it's low level, but we don't use it a lot. And I might in its place pick up another control spell confusion right because confusion is confusion it, confusion is what we wanted charm person to be in terms of a control spell i'm gonna go with confusion and then i'm gonna pick wildfire and we will see if that was a terrible mistake later on <laughs> um but I think that seems like a good, solid pick. And then finally, Fasima, who is going to be hard to choose for. Clerics always have good picks. Um, more health, which is always great. Um, prepare spells. Let's see. So you get identify creatures for free. That's cool. And phantasmal killer. That's cool. Um, freedom of movement. Death Ward is very good. Oh man, these are some good spells. Okay, uh, unpopular opinion. I think I'm gonna not remember Spiritual Weapon. I like it, but it's just really not doing what I need it to do. Um, oh wait, no. 
Wait, did it like, change my spell preparation? I definitely don't want Inflict Wounds. She's not an Inflict Wounds girl. Maybe... Spirit Guardians? Death Ward is good. Oh, man. Death Ward is, is no concentration. Just cast it and don't worry about it. Protects the creature from dying once. Banishes creature as long as you concentrate. The creature can be permanently banished if it's extra planar. Banishment is really good. Uh, if, we, if we're fighting an enemy that is not of these planes, it's like a very, very good spell. But it depends on if we are. And we don't know if we are yet. Um, conjures a large spectral guardian that damages approaching enemies. Yeah, this one is... This is like the sticking in place version of spiritual weapon. You just plant it and then it does work. Oof, it's tough. Hmm. Spirit guardians. That's concentration. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do, because the only other concentration spell I usually keep up is Bless. Pretty low level. I think what I'm going to do, what, oh, Beacon of Hope is good too, right? Concentration, advantage on wisdom and death saving throws. Healing restores maximum possible hit points. Ugh, cleric spells are so good. It's so hard to choose. And that's also concentration. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to not take Spirit Guardians, because that's a concentration spell. I'm instead going to give that to Beacon of Hope, because that is the whole reason why Fasim is here. She is our major healer, so it makes sense that she has that. Um, I'm going... That means I have two spells left to pick. I'm going to take... Uh, but does this leave us exactly where we were before between spiritual weapon and guardian of faith guardian of faith conjures a large spectral guardian that damages approaching enemies hmm if i'm not mistaken the guardian is stationary but it like it's like a turret like it like slashes people who get close which is pretty cool could be something we we kind of plan the battlefield around you know spiritual weapon we kind of summon then we move it move it around but sometimes it really can't get to where get it to where we need it to go so i kind of feel like having a guardian that we plant in the ground and then we can work around especially with our ranged casters i'm gonna go guardian of faith it's kind of a gamble and I have one more spell to prepare. Oh, mass healing word. Instantly heals up to six allies that you can see. That's pretty good with beacon. Death ward is, is great, but it seems a little, what's the word? A little situationable to be, to be applying right now. And also we have six scrolls of revivify. So not too worried about dying right now. Hmm. Oy vey. This is... I'm thinking. I don't know. Do I want... It's either Spiritual Weapon again, which feels silly, because I just picked Guardian of Faith, or something like... Less restoration, remove a detrimental condition. Tongues doesn't use concentration. This is tough. Mass healing word. Mass healing word is tempting, but when have we been in a situation where we needed... Um, we needed everybody to heal at once? Not really. 
Woof. Um. Okay. We got two of these. We got one of these. Four of these. I'm going to say... Oh, Prayer of Healing is a 10 minute cast. But at that point, we could just use a short rest. Enhance ability, hold person, might be good. Daylight. Uh, this is really tough. Cleric spells are so good, it's really hard. I'm gonna say, Maybe hold person. That seems like the most ubiquitous. Although that's also concentration. I'm sorry, I'm like I'm like really painstakingly hem hawing over this choice. But I'm a this is my brain, my like my min-max planner brain here. What kind of effect can I not replicate with any other party member? I mean, I can't remove detrimental conditions from allies, but that hasn't really been a major factor so far. Death Ward. I'm going to say we have three of these and only one spell cast for it. This seems like the slot to pick. Stop allies from being charmed or frightened and makes hostile humanoids indifferent. Also concentration. But area of effect. Hmm. This is so tough. This is why I don't play clerics. <laughs> there are just far too many, far too many choices to be made. Um. Far too many choices to be made. Remove a detrimental condition from an ally. I'm gonna say lesser lesser restoration. I've been I've been back and forth about it like ten times now. And uh Yeah. Is that the one I'm gonna go for? Is that it? Mm. No. Spiritual weapon. <laughs> Spiritual weapon. And less restoration. I'm not even going to prepare a high level slot. Not even going to do it. Best of both worlds. All right. Um, I'm going to close my tab here. I'm going to save one more time. Perfect. And I think with that... We're coming into about almost 11 yeesh. That was going to be in bed sooner again. I think we're going to call it there for the evening. I'm oh, sorry, I'm looking at this camera. Should we look at this camera? Let me move it back to just chatting. Disable performance mode so we can say hi to our lovely friends out here in TV land. Well, Ailing, you stuck around while I was looking at that level up screen. You are you are a real one. Uh, thank you, everyone, who decided to, to stop in. I <laughs> taught you too. Peace and love. Uh, thank you for everyone who decided to stop in and watch the stream today. Uh, thank you for joining Level 1 Adventuring. What is Level 1 Adventuring? We are a role-playing game, stream, YouTube channel, uh, Twitch channel. We're a bunch of things at this point. Uh, please follow us on all platforms because uh, we're trying to grow, especially our YouTube right now. We're just shy of 100 followers right now, so that is like where I'm trying to put a lot of energy into. I have some up, uh, episodes up to upload, especially of this game. I'm like a couple episodes behind here, but... Um, please follow us there and join the discord. The discord is where 
we talk about games we're going to play, we meme a bit, it's going to be a place where we can play D&D together very soon. Uh, big shout out to Streamlabs and Stream Spell, who I did not shout out earlier, uh, they're down below, affiliate links uh, it, for all of the cool visual effects like you see on our stream, so if you want those for yourself, you can pick them up there. Uh, and I think that is it for now. Uh, I thank you so much. I'm Wolf Scott, your host and dungeon master. Um, trying to think of any other, other cool plugs for myself I can say right now, but I'm pretty sure, uh, that w so far we're good. Uh, but with that being said, I hope to see you tomorrow. We're going to be streaming tomorrow, depending on availability, may be a proper return to form with a and d stream. I know, maybe. Uh, so long as so long as the attendance holds, fingers crossed. Uh, and then if not, of course, we will figure it out. Probably a firelight stream, if not. But we will be here tomorrow, and I hope to see you there. So with that all being said, uh, I hope you all get some rest and enjoy the rest of your night. And I will talk to you soon. Uh, so be easy, be well, be good. And I'm about to roll that. I, I can't read. <laughs> Where's my outro? There it is. Okay, I'll see you later.